Hello there, warriors. When you hear the word diet, what pops into your head? Salads, eating moderately, and fruits? Dieting is a lot more than eating restricted foods to manage weight or health conditions. A balanced diet includes all the nutrients required by the body. Did you know there are certain diets that target particular organs or systems in our body? Meet the kidneys. This pair of bean-shaped organs are your body's filtration system. They filter waste and excess fluids from your blood, remove toxins, and balance electrolytes like sodium, potassium, and calcium to keep your body in harmony. The kidneys also play a role in regulating blood pressure by managing fluid levels and producing hormones that help control blood pressure. Since blood is our lifeline, keeping the kidneys healthy is a prerequisite for a healthy lifestyle. Most of the toxins are unfortunately a part of the food we eat. Choosing a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins, and drinking enough water to maintain proper hydration supports overall health and kidney function. But of course, while you can eat consciously to boost kidney health, there are some common foods that can actually end up being harmful as well. You will not believe some of these as they are a part of our daily diets. Stay tuned to find out the 10 foods that can actually destroy your kidneys in this ultimate guide to kidney health. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We look out for your health with amazing wellness tips for a healthy life, and we would love for you to be a part of our community of warriors. Number one, dairy. Dairy products such as milk, cheese, and yogurt are significant dietary sources of calcium, phosphorus, and potassium. Phosphorus is essential for various bodily functions including bone health and energy metabolism. When kidney function is impaired, phosphorus levels in the blood can become elevated due to reduced clearance by the kidneys. Elevated phosphorus levels can lead to mineral imbalances and complications such as hyperphosphatemia. This condition can contribute to bone disease, cardiovascular complications, and calcification of soft tissues, including blood vessels and organs. On the other hand, potassium is essential for nerve function muscle contraction, and maintaining fluid balance in the body. And yet, excess potassium can accumulate in the blood, leading to hyperkalemia. Hyperkalemia can disrupt normal heart rhythm, leading to potentially life-threatening arrhythmias. It can also cause muscle weakness, numbness, and tingling sensations. Number two, coffee. Caffeine in coffee is a natural stimulant that works by blocking the action of adenosin, a neurotransmitter that promotes relaxation and sleepiness. As a result, Caffeine stimulates the central nervous system, increasing alertness and energy levels. Caffeine is also known to have diuretic properties, meaning it increases urine production by promoting the excretion of water and electrolytes, such as sodium and potassium, through the kidneys. Chronic dehydration reduces blood volume and impairs kidney function by decreasing blood flow to the kidneys, ultimately impacting their ability to filter waste products effectively. Dehydration caused by excessive caffeine consumption reduces blood flow to the kidneys, leading to a decreased glomerular filtration rate, the rate at which the kidneys filter blood. This can impair kidney function and compromise their ability to remove waste products and toxins from the body efficiently. The diuretic effects of caffeine can also disrupt electrolyte balance, particularly sodium and potassium levels, which are crucial for proper kidney function. Electrolyte imbalances can lead to complications such as muscle cramps, irregular heartbeat, and even kidney damage if left unaddressed. Number three, red meat. Red meat such as beef, pork, and lamb is known for its high protein content. Protein is essential for muscle growth, repair, and various metabolic functions. However, when the body metabolizes protein, it produces waste products, including urea, as a byproduct. Urea is a nitrogenous compound that needs to be filtered out of the bloodstream by the kidneys and excreted in the urine. Excessive protein intake, such as consuming large amounts of red meat, results in increased urea production. As a result, the kidneys must work harder to filter and excrete higher levels of urea from the bloodstream. Consuming red meat in excess over a prolonged period can place chronic stress on the kidneys. The increased workload required to process and excrete excess urea may lead to kidney strain and damage. Studies have suggested that a high-protein diet, including frequent consumption of red meat, may accelerate the progression of chronic kidney disease in individuals with existing kidney impairment. Number four, sugary beverages. Sugary beverages such as soda, fruit juices, energy drinks, and sweetened teas are loaded with added sugars, which can cause rapid spikes in blood glucose levels when consumed. 
Regular consumption of these sugary beverages can lead to insulin resistance, a condition where the body's cells become less responsive to insulin. This can result in elevated blood sugar levels and contribute to the development of type 2 diabetes. Diabetes is one of the leading causes of chronic kidney disease. Sugary beverages provide little to no nutritional value, but are high in calories. Regular consumption can contribute to weight gain and obesity. Excess body weight, particularly abdominal obesity, is associated with insulin resistance, inflammation, and dyslipidemia, all of which can contribute to kidney damage and impaired kidney function. High sugar intake can promote chronic low-grade inflammation throughout the body, including in the kidneys. These beverages can also promote oxidative stress, which occurs when there is an imbalance between the production of free radicals and the body's antioxidant defenses. Oxidative stress and inflammation can damage kidney tissues and impair kidney function over time. Number five, processed meat. Processed meats are those that have been modified through salting, curing, smoking, or other methods to enhance flavor, texture, and preservation. These include sausages, hot dogs, bacon, deli meats, and cold cuts, such as ham, turkey, roast beef, and salami, as well as canned meats like Spam. These meats often contain additives and preservatives to extend shelf life, preserve color, prevent bacterial growth, and enhance tastes such as sodium nitrate and sodium phosphate. Sodium nitrate and sodium phosphate contribute to the high sodium content of processed meats. Excessive sodium intake can lead to high blood pressure, fluid retention, and kidney damage over time. Consuming processed meats regularly can disrupt electrolyte balance in the body, potentially leading to kidney dysfunction and other health complications. Phosphorus additives, including sodium phosphate and other phosphorus-containing compounds, are commonly used in processed meats to improve texture, retain moisture, and enhance flavor. The excessive phosphorus intake, particularly from additives in processed meats, can contribute to mineral imbalances and disrupt kidney function. In individuals with kidney disease, Excess phosphorus can lead to complications such as bone disease and cardiovascular issues. Number six, tomatoes. Tomatoes are relatively high in potassium, a mineral that plays a vital role in various bodily functions, including muscle contractions and nerve transmission. For individuals with problems in kidney function, such as those with chronic kidney disease, excess potassium intake can be harmful. Impaired kidneys may struggle to regulate potassium levels in the blood, leading to hyperkalemia, a condition characterized by elevated potassium levels. Tomatoes also contain oxalates, naturally occurring compounds found in many plant-based foods. Oxalates have the potential to bind with calcium in the kidneys, forming crystals that may contribute to the development of kidney stones. Tomatoes are acidic, primarily due to their citric and malic acid content. While the acidity of tomatoes is generally well tolerated by most individuals, Excessive consumption may exacerbate symptoms in those with acid reflux or gastroesophageal reflux disease, which can compromise kidney function and impact the possibility of kidney stones. Number seven, potatoes. While potatoes are a staple food in many diets and provide essential nutrients like carbohydrates, fiber, and vitamins, certain factors associated with potato consumption can potentially impact kidney health negatively. Potatoes have a high glycemic index meaning they can cause a rapid increase in blood sugar levels after consumption. High blood sugar levels can contribute to insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes, both of which are risk factors for kidney disease. Potatoes, especially when consumed in large quantities or processed forms like potato chips or fries, can be high in potassium and sodium. In individuals with impaired kidney function, these excessive potassium and sodium levels can lead to hyperkalemia, a condition characterized by dangerously high levels of potassium in the blood or high blood pressure and fluid retention, putting strain on the kidneys. Fried potatoes, such as French fries and potato chips, are often cooked in unhealthy fats and oils and may contain added salt and flavorings. Regular consumption can contribute to obesity, high blood pressure, and kidney damage. Processed potato products like instant mashed potatoes and potato snacks often contain added sodium, preservatives, and artificial ingredients, which can be harmful to kidney health. When potatoes are cooked at high temperatures, such as frying or baking, they can also form acrylamide, a potentially harmful chemical compound. Acrylamide has been associated with kidney damage and an increased risk of kidney cancer in animal studies. Number eight, orange. Oranges are relatively high in potassium, 
with one medium-sized orange containing around 237 milligrams of potassium. Too much potassium can be harmful to individuals with kidney disease. People with impaired kidney function may have difficulty excreting excess potassium from the body, leading to a buildup of potassium in the blood. High levels of potassium in the blood can cause irregular heartbeats and other serious complications. While oranges themselves are not directly linked to kidney stones, some citrus fruits, including oranges, contain oxalates, compounds that can contribute to the formation of kidney stones in susceptible individuals. Oxalates can bind with calcium in the urine to form crystals, which can then accumulate and develop into kidney stones over time. However, the risk of kidney stone formation from consuming moderate amounts of citrus fruits like oranges is generally low for most people, especially when accompanied by adequate hydration. Number nine, apricots. Apricots are rich in vitamins A and C, potassium and fiber, making them a nutritious addition to a healthy diet. The antioxidants in apricots may offer protective benefits for overall health, including kidney health, by reducing oxidative stress and inflammation. However, at the same time, apricots, like many fruits and vegetables, contain a high number of oxalates, compounds that can bind with calcium in the body to form crystals. In individuals prone to kidney stones, high oxalate intake can increase the risk of calcium oxalate kidney stones, a common type of kidney stone. While apricots themselves may not directly harm the kidneys, excessive consumption, especially by individuals at risk of kidney stones, may exacerbate stone formation. Number 10. Chocolate. Chocolate, especially dark chocolate, contains significant amounts of oxalates. Oxalates are compounds that can bind with calcium in the urine to form crystals, increasing the risk of kidney stone formation. Individuals prone to kidney stones, particularly those with a history of calcium oxalate stones, should limit their intake of oxalate-rich foods like dark chocolate to reduce the risk of stone formation. The combination of high oxalate content in chocolate and the presence of calcium in the urine can promote the formation of calcium oxalate stones. Chocolate also contains caffeine, which acts as a diuretic and can increase urine production. Excessive consumption of chocolate, especially coupled with other caffeinated beverages, can lead to dehydration. Dehydration concentrates urine, making it more likely for crystals to form and potentially leading to kidney stone formation. Oh my dear warriors, Keeping our body safe and toxin-free is our responsibility. Just because these foods can harm your kidneys doesn't mean you have to avoid them completely. In a balanced, nutritious diet, eaten in proper moderation, these foods can provide the other potential health benefits they have while keeping the kidneys safe from harm. Make sure that you also stay hydrated throughout the day and exercise regularly to keep your bloodstream toxin-free. Cheers to wellness and health. This is Wellness Warriors with another life-changing experience on how to take control of your healthy lifestyle. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on the latest health tips and tricks to a better life. Thank you for watching. See you again next time on Wellness Warriors.